This video is from the Retro Liberty archives with new edits and live shots. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. The girls who had our hearts going, aww, to nice fashion line, to wow, they've grown up, to why won't they appear on Fuller House? Well, Michelle sends her love, but she's busy in New York running her fashion empire. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Mary Kate and Ashley Crush Chorus, which is debatably, it's not debatably, it's the worst video game I've ever played in my entire life. And I've played Fortnite. Ooh, sick burn. Upon playing Mary Kate and Ashley Crush Chorus, I had absolutely no idea what to expect. So when I first turned on the game, I was greeted with this. Real games for real girls. That works for me! Then the game shows me about five different companies that work to make this game, which means it's going to be awesome! After all that, I am given the choice to pick my character, but I can't tell who is who and I thought they were twins, not six tuplets. <gasps> Which one's Mary Kate? Which one's Ashley? So I just decide to pick the one that looks the coolest. Okay, now I'm supposed to pick a color, but for what? I am given zero explanation as to why or what picking a certain color is gonna do for me. Or even if it's just supposed to be my favorite color, then just tell me that. And that's not even to mention that the music is honestly driving me insane at this point. It has been the exact same music the whole time since the very beginning of the game, and the soundtrack is just looping over and over and over. <laughs> Heart rate and boys rate. This game is literally teaching little girls to get as many boys as quickly as possible. After that, I honestly spent about 10 minutes, and I'm not kidding, trying to get the game started. I couldn't figure it out. So I finally got it started, and I honestly don't know how, but I did. So now that I actually get the game going, I am asked to enter my name. But where are all the letters? Okay, there has to be another screen somewhere. Are you kidding me? I still to this moment do not understand and I'm not joking. What's happening here? Seriously, where are the letters? I looked, I pressed every button every different way in combination and that's it. Why would the game only decide to give us certain letters? That doesn't make any sense. I guess I'll just spell NES Pursuit with what options I have. I get to choose where I want to go. Well, the only cool place little girls would want to go to is closed. Go figure. The next best option is the park, I guess. A board game. A board game really with no instructions. Have you ever played a board game in your entire life where you open it up and you are forced to play the game with zero instructions or idea or any direction of what to do at all in the board game? Okay, I'm safe. That's cool, I think. Then I'm safe again? Everything is fine. And I'm not even pressing anything to roll the dice. Oh, this game is turning out really fun. Finally, a mini game. But as soon as I start this mini game, the instructions tell me once again, as if I've played this before. Okay, let's put this aside. So the mission is literally to jump around aimlessly and take everything I see in the park. Well, that's a real good lesson to teach little girls. Okay, let's just see what the game's like. The controls here are so loose. You just feel like you're floating around the screen with no actual direction and you can't land on any platform that you actually want to. And the minimal sounds this game does make just make me want to stuff my ears with my kids soiled diapers. Oh great, I set the highest score. Yes! 
Another mini game? Yes. Looks like it's time for me to catch some fish. So along with these baboon controls and craptastic sounds, you just move your target over the fish and I guess you caught him. Time for a love test. I guess I get a guess which cutie has a crush on me. Aw, shucks. <laughs> wow, this guy actually looks like Billy from the Game Chasers. Okay, let's see. So how am I supposed to guess who has a crush on me? Uh, maybe if I click on him, it will give me a hint. Let's see. Well, uh, I'm not picking Eminem over here. Let's go with uh, Wes. What? I gained a heart? Did I guess right? Did the guy have a crush on me? I'm not given any explanation for anything at all! Come on, man. Come on. Okay, that was interesting. Well, let's roll the dice again and give it a go. All right, let's give it a good roll. Awesome, a warp. Let's see where this takes me. Where did I go? The game said nothing. Once again, I got no explanation for what's going on. Normally, I'm the kind of guy that looks at things with the glass half full, but honestly, this game's actually starting to piss me off. Finally, after 20 turns, I get a new mini game. Ooh, a hedge maze. I'm actually really good at mazes, so I should have fun with this. Let's do this. Okay, wow, a top-down level. So you just walk around with a pair of butt cheeks on your head for a minute. And I checked every corner in every area in this entire maze, and I found absolutely zero way out. Well, okay, so the time runs out and I get a high score. I literally did nothing. I ran into every wall. I didn't escape. I ran out of time and I got a score. No, I didn't get a score. I got a high score. So after nothing happening again, turn after turn. Hey, look, I finally get a new mini game. Ooh, cool. Look what it is. So this actually sounds promising. I am going down a river at full speed. I got to zoom down it and I'm in a motorboat. Oh. Now this sounds rad. Never have I played a game where I feel like it shouldn't have made it past one step. There is nothing in this game that makes sense in any way, any shape, any form at all. Not only that, it's completely unplayable. The gameplay is terrible, it controls terrible, it looks terrible, and it sounds god awful. It shouldn't have made it past anything. I can't stand anything related to Mary Kate and Ashley anymore. There's only one thing left to do. Revert back to my old self and do what needs to be done. Calm down. This is going well. 